Thank you for viewing this demonstration on Information Manager Notes. Information Manager Notes allows you to configure pop-up notes to be displayed in context of the Sage 300 ERP screen field, for example, vendor number. Multiple fields on the same screen can be configured at the same time. For example, on the order entry screen, you could have notes configured to the customer number and to the location of the order. Furthermore, a combination of two fields on the same screen can be configured for the same note. For example, on your accounts payable payments, you might need a note which depends on both the vendor number and the remit to code, not just the vendor number or the remit to code in isolation. When you're configuring notes, you can have multiple notes for the same um, field in, in Sage 300 ERP, for example, you can have multiple notes around the customer number and you can display the first note, the last note, or all the notes at one time in the pop-up alert box. Notes can be as long as you want and if they're longer than what can be displayed on the screen, you get a scroll bar so you can scroll down the notes to see the full length of the notes without having to edit up the notes. You can drag and drop a hyperlink into the note, and if you do this, the source document can be opened by double-clicking on the hyperlink. You can copy and paste a picture into the note, and that will be displayed in the pop-up alert. Notes are date, timestamp, and user ID stamped for when people change them or create them for, for auditing purposes. And notes can have a default color to allow for quick recognition. For example, all the customer notes could be blue, but an urgent note could be red in background. Let's take a look at these features of notes. In this example, I have configured notes to appear around the customer number field. So selecting a order which, for which the customer number has no notes, we do not see the pop-up alert appearing, but scrolling onto or selecting a order where the customer number, in this case 1210, does have a note, you can see the note pops up on the side. If there's only one note, it will take the full side size of the alert box that you have configured. So you can drag and drop or uh, squeeze and um, shrink or expand the note box to be the size that you want and in the position that you want, and each time the note will open on this, in this particular position. This is more geared to be on perhaps a second screen, so you'd have your data entry screen on, your, on the screen in front of you, and on the second screen to the right you would have the notes popping up. So if I scroll on to another customer, customer 1200, that has a number of notes, because I configured this particular scenario to show me all the notes, I'm seeing the first, second, third and fourth note. So the notes will try and maximize to fill the space, but at some stage you might, if you had more than four notes, you might end up with a scroll bar to scroll down to see the, the other notes. If a note is too long to fit in the space visible, you will get a scroll bar that you can scroll down to see all the note and a note can be edited from here. So if I was to click Edit here, I would see that this customer has four notes and double-clicking on any one of these would let, allow me to edit the note. If I, and I can only edit the note if I have permission to edit the note. And if I edit the note, the date and time that this note, note was last amended will be updated with the user ID who I'm currently logged in as. Notes can have default colors. In this case, this default color was yellow. In the case of customer 1200, the notes have all got a default color of light blue, which is the default color that I configured for customer notes. However, this is deemed to be an urgent note, and I chose the red color to um, indicate those ones. So the colors can either be used to distinguish between customer notes and item notes and vendor notes, for example, or they could be used um, as a, a light color for just normal notes and a red color or an orange color for urgent notes. 
In this second example, I have configured notes around the item number field in the item screen. So when I select an item which has some notes, the notes will pop up on the right hand side or where I last left the note box for it to be viewed. Like the customer notes, it can display long text and with a scroll bar if the text doesn't fit in the box. But in this second note here, I have also I have configured or painted, copied and pasted a, a picture into the note. So when I go and edit that, you can see I've pasted the picture into the note box. This sort of note, the picture is actually stored in the ACPAC database. So in the ACPAC database, we would be seeing the, this data stored in the ACPAC database. And the third type of note that I have pasted in here is I've copied and pasted a hyperlink to a file. So I can double click on this file and it'll open up the default viewer. In my case, the default viewer for a JPEG is the Windows viewer and it will open up that same picture but in the, in the actual um, default viewer for that file type. And in this case, only the link is stored in, in the note, not the full picture. So you can either have text, a picture that is viewed, or a link, a hyperlink to a file. And by double clicking, you can open that file with the default viewer for that file type. And scrolling on to a second item, I would see the picture that's been pasted there. And in this case, a, a text box with a background of green. We have seen that notes can be configured around a field on the Sage 300 ERP screen, for example, customer number. You can display more than one note at a time. Uh, in this example, we are seeing four notes. Notes can have default colors and they can be changed on creation or amendment. For example, the default color for customer notes is light blue, but we have changed some of the notes to orange, red and yellow. And we've seen that if a note is too long to fit in the box, you can scroll down in the box and see the rest of the notes. We've also seen, as in the example around item number, that you can either drag, copy and paste a picture into the note, which can show you the actual picture in the note box, or we can drag and drop a file into the note in which case you can double click on the hyperlink to open up the default viewer for that file. Or you can have long free format text notes as shown in the bottom with where you can have different fonts and different sizes in the note as is required. So notes is a module within Information Manager, but it can be run in, on its own or in conjunction with other Information Manager modules. Other information manager modules are, for example, Document Management Link, which allows you to configure context-sensitive lists of documents that are stored on a network folder or in a MS SharePoint, Microsoft SharePoint folder in your SharePoint server. So it's very similar to Notes, but instead of seeing a box with free format text notes, you see a box with a list of documents which you can double click on to open the document and it'll be opened either off the network folder or out of SharePoint. Another module is Optional Tables, which allows you to create your own data structures to store information within the Sage 300 ERP database. Normally this information is, there's no logical place for it to fit in Sage 300 ERP and is typically s saved in a spreadsheet or in another database, and that becomes awkward in linking to that data for reporting purposes. There is also a dyna dynamic link from MS Excel, which um, allows you to view or write your data into Excel or from Excel back into the Sage 300 ERP database. Another module is Report Runner, which allows you to create menus of crystal reports and financial reports and then run those reports from the menu. So it helps you organize the reports. Around crystal reports, it allows security, so you can only see the reports that you're allowed to run. 
and it stores the parameters for these reports so they can be run without prompting the users for all the parameters that might be necessary to run the report. And if these parameters are being stored in Report Runner, then Process Scheduler, another ORCID module, can be used to schedule those reports, both Crystal Reports and Financial Reports, to schedule them after hours. Another module of Information Manager is Data Views, which allows you to simplify the structure of optional fields in the SAGE 300 ERP database to simplify your Crystal Reports and speed up your Crystal Reports. And these data views can also be used by Infra Explorer, which is a business intelligence tool which gives you slice and dice type reporting on your ERP data and in particular on your optional table data combined with the Sage 300 ERP data. Info Explorer also has write back capabilities which allows you to update your item budgets or your GL budgets or your IM optional table straight from the cube. So you can use the cube for your what if analysis or your budgeting and your forecasting and directly write back to the information manager tables or the GL budget table or the item forecast tables within say 300 ERP. So no more exporting and importing. If you have any other queries um, or would like further information on our products, please go to our website www.orchidsystems.biz or contact us on info at orchidsystems.biz. Thank you for your time in viewing Information Manager Notes.